，然后看你们每个人的脸色，大家看有没有听懂。就是我们，我们再说一下，如果你你觉得这个不是很简单，或者觉得没有懂的话，就跟我们示意没有什么关系，我们可以再讲一遍。So I'm going to focus on the first one, and you may not get through all of them. The first one is most important. That's why it's number one. 嗯，他可能着重的会讲第一个，因为他觉得这个是最重要的。But briefly before describing how to innovate, I think I need to define innovation for you. 呃，在讲之前呢，他想说，那到底什么是创新呢 ？So that if I tell you how to do it, you know what is the it I'm telling you how to do. 所以，那怎么做的时候，你就知道我们到底在做什么。Okay. So, next slide. The definition of innovation, and I noticed at the top it says innovation worldview, which means I'm still only through one third of my slides, uh, and you may not get to the end, but that's okay. So you can, I still want you to ask more questions, and I'll be around for the next couple of days if people need to find me, talk to me or Camilla, and we can talk more. So, what is innovation? Oh, sorry. 他就是刚刚看到说，哎呀，原来我们还在讲第一个话题啊，因为那个上面写还是着眼全球的创新观。其实有，我们今天要讲三部分，还是在第一个部分。但是，他还是鼓励说，讲不完没关系，但更重要的是，他想听到你们的想法。然后，如果你们有问题，就像刚才那样，就直接说出来是非常好的。然后他之后也会在这边，然后大家可以再交流。So this is the very shortest definition of innovation I can come up with. 这个是非常短的一个对于创新的定义。Applied insight. 实用的洞察力。So the word applied has to do with the tangible world. 实用的这个词，就是让人想到的是比较有形的东西。You are in an executive MBA program, which means you are executives. 你们在这个 EMBA 的这个课程里面，说明你们都是管理者。And what executives have to do is to execute. 管理者要做什么？要去管理。Same word, executive, execute. You have to. 管理者管理。You have to be very applied, very practical, very down to earth. 你们必须是非常，就是做出来的东西是很实用的，是很具有实践性的。Very tangible. You have to worry about the bottom line. So it's to do tangible things because you may have to go to the bottom line. So I think you already have the idea of applied down because you have to apply your knowledge all the time. So about the use or the use of this point, you should be very clear because every person needs to use their own knowledge. It's the second half that's the hardest to find. The insight. But the observation. 这个可能是最困难、最困难的。Insight is the side that is inside of you. 他是在说这个 insight 这个洞察力的这个拼法，就是说是 i n s i g h t 嘛。Sight 是说眼界的意思 ，in 是在里面的意思，所以他的意思是说这个东西是在眼睛里面，是在脑子里面的。Your eyes are looking outside. 你眼睛看的东西是外面的东西。You don't have eyes for insight. 但你脑子里面的东西，你就没有一个眼睛去看了。You have your imagination. 你只能去想象。And this is very intangible. Here's the problem. 所以想象这个东西就是很无形嘛，所以就产生了问题。I'm sure all of you have at least one friend who is very creative. 我相信每个人都有这样一个朋友，就是非常有创意的一个朋友。And not so down to earth. 没有，就是做事情不是这么脚踏实地的。Not so practical. 不是这么呃靠谱。And could not get an executive MBA. 估计他们是拿不到 EMBA 这种学位的。But they may have a lot of Great ideas. But these people may have many, many, very good ideas. This is the problem. This is the problem. The people who 
can see things that are not there. Are regarded by everybody else as crazy. So, do all of you know somebody like this? So let's say you are the person with a lot of ideas. And you walk into this room. And you look and see a thousand things. But a normal person walks into this room and sees 100 things. When the person who can see 1,000 things talks about the 900 that the normal people cannot see, people think they are crazy. This is the dilemma of an innovator. They see things that are not there yet. Which means most of the world cannot deal with them. If you are going to be an innovation executive, you also have to see things that are not there. But you have to figure out how to apply them. <coughs> that is why an innovator can apply their insight. If you just have the insight, but cannot make it happen. There is no value. If you are just very good at application of what already exists, then you can't make any breakthroughs. It's the balance between the insight that you can see that other people do not see yet. And the execution. But you as executives, that's what you are hired to do, to execute. That's what executives do. So you have to balance the tangibles and the intangibles. I think we talked enough about tangibles, so I'm going to skip this. You can read it quickly, right? Okay. And I think we also talked about the fact innovation is qualitative, not quantitative. It is not a formula. It is not a recipe. It is not an equation. All of these things do not have a formula or a recipe or equation. But now that Apple has passed Exxon, Exxon. now that Apple has passed Exxon, oh, Apple Exxon. in market cap, 在, 呃, 就是市场, 市场, 资本市场, the knowledge industry has passed the energy industry. Exxon is energy. Okay. The intangible world has just become bigger than the tangible world. 
，所以无形的这些传递的东西，然后带出的无形的这个世界，正在渐渐超过那些有形的东西。So your job has just changed. 所以你们的工作发生了变化。I'm going to skip these and just go to the actual vantage point. I'm looking to see if I have a slide that describes it or if I have to just say it. I know you have this in your handout, but just look at this for a minute before I start talking. So to explain this, I'm going to go back a couple of slides and bring up three words. It is very difficult to manage innovation. But it is less difficult to manage context. Do you know what context means? I see by your faces a lot of people do not, so I'm going to explain it. The second word, perspective, do you know what that word means? More of you do, so I'm going to show. So if, if you look at this from this way, or this way, Looks very, very different. You wouldn't even know it's the same thing. And that's only two sides. There's, there's more. Context is a way of looking at things. So here, the perspective. And the brand perspective, and the manufacturing perspective, a lot of different contexts. So you are already looking at a lot of different contexts. So the first rule of innovation is to look at things a lot of different ways. So the At the same time. This is only one thing. But we can look at it a lot of different ways. We could look at the parts costs. The development cycle. Customer benefit. And you make trade-offs between all of these things. There's a lot of room for innovation in those trade-offs. Right now, many people think innovation is how do we make it cheaper and faster? 有的人就觉得说，哦，那就是，就是创新，就是说我们怎么样把这个东西做得更便宜，做得更快。But how about more reliable or easier to use? 那把它做得更可靠，或者是更方便消费者使用呢 
or with a battery life that's much, much, much longer. So you never have to worry about it. 或者说你生产出一个电池，永远都不用换它，它一直可以用。So okay, I think I made the point about context and perspective. 他觉得他应该解释清楚了，大家有问题吗？So now I'm going to come back to the actual advantage point. 所以他现在会开始讲他刚才的那个可操作的有一点这个问题。So let's say you know where your business is and where you are. 呃，让我们假设你现在知道你你的公司或者是你的生意现在是怎么样的一个状态，然后你自己是一个怎么样的状态。And you are here. 然后你在那个位置。And you're looking, you're like down here, very close to your situation, very close to. 然后你就是在这个这个位置上面看的很多，然后就盯盯着他看。You may have some problems that look so large. If you zoom out, there's a place where your problems do not look so large. So the first thing is you have to detach from the problem by zooming out. So the if you don't know where you are, you can't zoom out. So the first part of innovation is self-knowledge. You have to know where you are, where your business is. So you now let's say I know where I am and I know where I want to be. But from here, I cannot see her. It's on the other side of something. 看到中间有个东西就隔断了嘛，然后就说，哎呀，那我甚至都看不到我要去哪里。But if I zoom up high enough, I can I can see both. 但是如果你站在一个比较高的高度的话，那你就能看到同时看到这两个点。So first thing, when you stop, zoom out. And second thing, you have to know where you want to go. 就是第一点，刚刚说了，你要站得高，然后看到这两个点，然后第二步，你就要知道你要去哪里。and you have to zoom out far enough where you can be see both where you are and where you want to be. So this part is self-knowledge, this part is vision. All of you know where you want to be. Maybe in general terms, not specific terms. Maybe you want your business to be more sustainable or ready for the future. So what the actual vantage point is, first you zoom out so far that you can see where you are and where you're going. And then you zoom back in close enough. Where you can see a path to get there. From here to here I could go around this way, this way, this way. 你回来干什么呢? 你是要看到说从这个点到那个点可以怎么走？有很多种走法。刚才做了几个动作的那些走法。If you are zoomed too far out, 有的时候你可能站得太远了。You can't see the path. 你就看不到要怎么样过去。You can't even see the difference between the flowers and the podium. 你甚至都看不到这个花和这个台子有什么区别。So you have to change your context first to get far enough away from the problem 
，所以你需要转换你看待书的角度。第一点，你先就是从问题这边离开，然后看到这个两个点。And then coming close enough to see a path of how do you get from one place to the other place. 然后再回来，呃，足够你看清楚有怎么样的方法可以从一个点到另一个点。So let's pretend we are talking about a mountain. And you are in a valley between two mountains. We now imagine if you are in a valley between two mountains, and you are in a valley between two mountains, and you want to get to the other side of the mountain. Then you want to go to the other side of the mountain. And there are a lot of paths going up on this side. Then from the mountain to the mountain, and then you want to go back. There are many different ways. If you zoom out very far, you can see the other side of the mountain. If you are just 站得很高，看得很远，你可以看到就是另外山那边的那个东西。But you can't see the path. 但你就看不到怎么样过去。So you have to zoom out to see both sides and then zoom in to see the path over the mountain. Which which one goes there? Because some don't go there. 所以就是说，你要站得高，看得到两个点，但同时你也要就是有足够的距离去看清怎么样从一个点到另一个点。Innovation executives can always find the actionable vantage point. Uh, 管理创新管理者总是能够找到这样一个可利的可操作的点。Which is the point of view where they're able to take action. 就是在哪一点上面他们是可以行动的。There is no situation where you cannot take action. 从来没有一个情况说你说没了，我什么事情都不能做了。But to know what the right action is, you have to have the right perspective. 但是你怎么知道你做的这个事情是对还是不对？就是你采取的这个行动，那需要你要从一个对的角度去看它。Which means you have to know there are a lot of different ways to look at things. 那首先你要知道有很多其他的角度去看待这个事情。And you have to be very comfortable zooming out and zooming in. Or changing the direction. You need to be very comfortable to stand far, then stand far enough, then change your perspective to look at the situation. Because if you are only looking from one direction, because if you are only looking from one direction, because if you are only looking from one direction, because if you are only looking from one direction, now, the artist who sees a thousand ways, uh, usually cannot change the world either. Because there are too many ways. And this is why we're talking about managing content. You have to decide how many ways you can look at. 所以这个我们说的为什么要管理？因为你需要去决定说这么多方法里面哪一种是你需要的。Not too many, not too little. 不是太多，也不是太少。So let's say you are a manufacturer and you are used to looking at cheaper and faster. 如果说你现在在制造业，你一直是在关注说怎么样去做的更便宜，怎么样去做的更快。But you are not used to looking at brand or ease of use. 但是你从来没想到过你应该去想想怎么样做这个品牌，或者怎么样使消费者用起来更方便。Then you are missing an opportunity. 那你就错过了一点。But let's say you are looking at brand and ease of use and cost and one hundred things. 那我们再假设说，你也看了品牌，你也看了这个消费者怎么去使用，你看了一百多样东西。Then you are paralyzed and can't move. 但是太多了，所以你就一下子可能觉得忙不过来，然后没有办法前进了。Executives have to choose the number of things to look at. 作为管理者来说，你其实要去选择说，你应该要去看哪些东西。That's why executives make more money than artists. So, That's why executives make more money than engineers. 
And that's why executives make more money than salespeople. <laughs> That's not necessary. I don't think so. <laughs> not more than sales. Uh, maybe a, a salesman or engineer will get paid uh, more than manager. And artist in China, especially in China. So let me very fast. Like uh, Xiao Shenyang. <laughs> Can you know the man? Very famous. I don't think he knows. But I, I heard a guy like this before me today. He was talking very fast like a salesman. He's <laughs> selling the school, I think. I couldn't tell. But well, so let me, let me say the question first. Okay. So the question is, if in China, there are sales people, there are also engineers, especially artists, so-called artists, who make more money than CEO or manager are more than that. So the answer to your question is an executive and a manager are not the same thing. In my mind, an executive is a leader. And in a larger company, an executive is a manager of managers. Even in a small company, executives have to take responsibility for direction. Most of the time, Managers do not have enough freedom to choose a direction. Unless they work for an innovation executive. Who know they need the perspective of that manager to count. Who know they need the perspective of that manager to come. Uh, let me explain this more because this these two words they're the same Chinese yes. characters. So Tame 他们是允许说他们下面的管理者可以去创新，可以去提出不同于他们的想法。我不知道解释清楚没有。But everyone can be a leader. 但是不是说只有在上面的人才是领导者，每个人都可以成为一个领导者。If their boss is secure. The, the greatest prediction of success for an innovator greatest prediction prediction of best way to tell is how secure is their boss. Because if that person with insight has a lot of ideas. And their boss gets nervous because they have a lot of ideas. Oh, sorry. Then they will stop having ideas. 
because they will get in trouble for having ideas. This is very difficult to manage. You have to trust the people that you hire have something good to say. Otherwise, they will be afraid to tell you ideas. And every company in every country has this problem. Because the person who gets promoted became promoted because they were successful. And when they become successful, they become sure that they are right. But they forget five years ago when they were younger. That when people did not listen to them, they had a very hard time fighting. So as soon as we get good at something, we stop listening. So But if we stop listening, we stop growing. And if we stop growing, we cannot innovate. So it is very hard to remember when you were younger how hard it was to get people to listen to you. So you when you are the big boss. Try to remember. That there are people on your team who are like you used to be when you were their age. We call this respectful listening. Innovation requires respectful listening. Because people do not innovate because you tell them to. They innovate because they want to. And they want to because it gives their life meaning. It feels very good to all people to have ideas. If you have a boss who does not want to hear any of your ideas, then you, you have a problem because you have to keep quiet. So in the US, if you have a boss who will not listen to your ideas, you get a new boss. Otherwise you cannot grow and learn. It's it's very difficult in a situation where there's authority for authority to permit people to change things. But that's what innovation is, it's changing things. So people who do not permit change do not permit innovation. So that's why small companies 
and medium-sized companies can often do things that the big company cannot do. 这是为什么小中小型企业他们可能做在创新方面做的事情比大的企业要多得多。Because there are less rules in a small company. 因为中小企业里面就是条条框框少一些。There's more freedom. 更多的自由。In a startup company. 在一个创业的公司里面的话。Where there are a hundred jobs to be done, 如果有一百个事情要去做 ，but only five people， 但只有五个人 ，each person gets to do twenty different jobs， 每个人可能要做二十件事情 ，and because of that they have many different perspectives and contexts， 因为他们一个人就都都做那么多事啊，所以他们每个人看事情的角度就非常的多。So they are more likely to innovate. So they are more likely to innovate. In the U.S., the big companies buy the little companies. In the U.S., the big companies buy the little companies. Because the big companies cannot innovate so well, so they buy the small ones who are making the breakthroughs. Because the big companies themselves have already lost their innovative ability, so they want to buy the small ones to help them innovate. So they want to buy the small ones to help them innovate. I don't think this happens as much in Asia yet. They follow them. They copy. <coughs> you have to innovate faster than they can copy. If you create a situation with respectful listening and everybody on your team has permission to have ideas, you have many more ideas than a big company has. In a big company, there are 1,000 people who can say no. In the little company, there are only five people who can say no. So you are less likely to get no. So you 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 get no. 因为在，所以在硅谷每天都有很多人，他们从大公司离开，就是去办自己的小公司或者加入小公司，因为他们需要一个更自由的空间去想这些东西，去有更多的想法。So to come back to this actionable vantage point, the the thought that there is no problem that you can't find a way to take action. So let's say the problem you were describing that big company companies little company. 就是。So how do you have a breakthrough about that? 就是他他刚才说回到刚才所说的有有有找到一个有利的操作点，这个的就是前提在于没有任何的情况下是说你没有办法做出任何的决定，或者是没有办法去解决的，总是会有一个点是可以进把这件事情进行下去的。You look at what can the little company do that the big company cannot do. 你可以看。Um, sorry, what's his question? He had said that, that there's a problem that the big companies copy the little companies. Copy? He said, he said the big company follows the little companies. So, oh, okay. So I'm saying, so this is a, a real problem. It's like, you're here, you're the little company, big company copies you, you want to be here, you want to do something that they can't copy. Just like Tencent. Just like Tencent. Yes. Yes. It's very famous copy good ideas from a small company. So, you have to find markets that may be too small for a big company to get into until you can establish yourself. You can't. 
，就是对于你刚才讲的那个情况，就是大公司都在抄小公司的一些想法，可能小公司需要去找到一个比较小的市场，就是比较独特的市场。大公司有的时候甚至不屑于去做这个市场，但是小公司可能可以在这个市场里面把自己先渐渐强壮起来。但是呢，就是一些好的创意，他大家公司已经建立起来一个非常强的技术用户和资源，或者说叫他的那个那个资本的实力，就天下没有没法的买卖，那么他们很快可以做到很好的实现市场化，实现价值，就是这样一个意思。这样，我们市场持有者的情况是属于这个类型。So he's talking about. The big companies, they have more fun to move around, and they have a big platform which is already mature to execute the idea. So they can copy the small company's idea very quickly and to be like get a very big market share before the small company can really get found or to execute the idea. But you are looking from one perspective, which is that you are making an assumption which is unconscious. Which is that the big company and the little company both want the same market. And that the little company has to become a big company to be successful. 而且你你的假设是在于说，小公司只有成为大公司，才能够去获得那个市场获得成功。我首先确认一点，我不是在假设，我是基于一类情况说一个情况，而不是单位一个角度看待一个情况。不是，他说的假设是说，呃，就是你已经在，就是脑子里已经先形成这个观点了，然后你看到了这个是情况。呃，你必须明白为什么金俊先生提出来这么一个问题，嗯，就是。Okay, he's not expressing himself like his own perspective, but just saying that there is an effect in the market. So he thinks it's nothing to do with perspectives, but this is an effect. Only a fact if the little company wants to compete with the big company. 他觉得说，你看到的这个事实存在，只存在于说小公司想要和大公司去竞争，这个事实才存在。Little companies can do things big companies cannot do. 小公司也可以做很多大公司不能做的事情。Namely, being more responsive to a customer. 比如说，他们对消费者更负责任。But I think this is part of. The perspective of a manufacturing nation like China. I think you're all assuming that the little company has to become a big company to be successful. He feels that maybe this is because China is the biggest manufacturing nation, so everyone's thoughts are that the success of the small company is to become bigger. I can tell you when I have ten people reporting to me, my life is a lot better than when I have a hundred reporting to me. I can tell you when I have ten people reporting to me, my life is a lot better than when I have a hundred reporting to me. He wants to say that he wants to be successful. 这是不一定的。他自己的他自己的经验，当他有一个十个人的团队的时候，他的生活他觉得比他有一百个人团队的生活要愉快的多，要幸福的多。So I think so. So it depends. Yeah, it depends. That's context matter.、Okay. I, I find the answer. It depends. Yes. 所以你你刚才说到，所以说是要分类别讨论的，所以这个也就是他所说的，怎么样去多角度的看这个问题。原来讲大鱼吃小鱼，现在讲快鱼吃慢鱼，所以在不同的情况下，所以小公司有小公司的优势，大公司有大公司的这个他们的他们的好特特点优势，对吧？我觉得这个确实需要站在不同的角度来看。